Hey everybody, Dan here, and today we are going to take a look at how to install custom home environments for your Oculus Quest. Now, recently uh, somebody figured out how to change the default home environments in the Oculus Quest to something different. The people have been making all sorts of different home environments you can just install and try out to, uh, you know, pimp your Quest a little and make it a little bit more personal. So, you're going to need a couple things. Uh, you're going to obviously need an Oculus Quest, you're going to need a computer, um, and you're going to need a USB to USB-C cable to connect your Oculus Quest to your computer. You're also going to need to have SideQuest installed on your uh, on your PC, which uh, I'll link a tutorial to uh, somewhere right now of someone who can uh, explain that a lot better than I can. If you've done all those things, you're going to want to uh, download a custom home file. There's currently a Discord server where you can download most of them. I have that on screen right now and there's also a link in the description uh, with an invite to the server. And you can go in there and download all sorts of custom home environments people have made. I've already downloaded one and uh, I'm gonna, you know, just get that right here. Right, so I have downloaded this file, the Deadstar Hangar Rift Home.apk. Now, you're gonna wanna pay attention to what it says here, because this is just what it is, the Dead Star Hanger. Uh, it will usually say Rift Home or Winter Lodge or anything. You're gonna need to pay attention to that because the custom home will actually replace one of the uh, one of the default homes in your Oculus Quest, and this one will replace the standard Rift Home. So when you've downloaded a file, um, you're gonna wanna open Side Quest, and when you're in Side Quest, you wanna navigate over here. You want to make sure the show all thing is ticked or else you won't see what you need. And in search package, you're just going to type in environment. And then here it'll show all the environments that are currently installed. Now, the file I downloaded was to replace Rift Home. So I'm just going to select Rift Home, select the cog, and then just uninstall app. And it'll start to uninstall. Done. So now it has uninstalled the default home environment. Now I'm going to navigate over to my custom file. Just grab that and just drag that on in there and then it will automatically install via side quest. All tasks completed. When you go over to the task monitor, it'll say APK file installed, that star hanger, blah, 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 blah. So currently it has replaced the default Rift Home file in your Oculus Quest with the custom that star uh, home. So yeah, next up, you're just gonna wanna disconnect your Oculus Quest. Right, so we're now in the Oculus Quest. What you're going to want to do is you're gonna wanna go to your settings, see all, then you want to go to virtual environment and you want to select uh, classic Rift Home. I know the icon doesn't show anything different, but uh, if you click on it, it will, as you see, just load the, uh, the, the new file you just installed. So yeah, that is all really, really easy. Now, I can hear you ask, hey, how do I get the default home environment back if I'm sick of this one? Uh, that is also really easy. So to uninstall the environment you just installed and get the default one back, you want to uh, reconnect your Oculus Quest to your uh, PC. Then you want to go back to SideQuest, just go to currently installed apps, just look for environment again and just uh, uninstall the Rift Home again. And now when you disconnect your Oculus Quest, put it on, go back to your settings, see all virtual environment. Uh, it will show a download prompt for the classic Rift Home. Just click that, it'll download the old home and it will just be back, everything back to normal. So yeah, that was all really easy. It's a really fun way to switch up your quest a bit, make it look a little bit more personal and uh, yeah, just try some really cool things out. The environment I installed is really just on basically 2D. It's just a spear with a cool image of the Death Star hangar, but there's also plenty of 3D environments like the, the normal Rift Homes where you can actually walk around if you wanted to and there's some perspective and it looks a little bit more detailed, but those are currently a little bit more rare. So yeah, be sure to join the Discord server and just try some things out for yourself and uh, have fun, I guess. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe for more VR content and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.